I'm your neighborhood reporter, Adam Schindler, and I'm here in Lamb Passes where folks from NASA are viewing the eclipse with our neighbors. And I'll tell you what kind of data they hope to collect. In a joint experiment with scientists from the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute, NASA is here in Lamb Passes for the eclipse day, bringing modified telescopes with them. What we have made is special for this experiment is we have like a, we have a filter wheel here that has four color filters and it just simply takes images of the corona through those four color filters. Allowing them to collect vital data on solar winds and temperatures coming from the corona or sun's atmosphere. There is this uh, question about why the sun's atmosphere is hotter than the sun's surface. The so surface is around 6,000 degrees and the corona is like a million degrees. They're measuring the solar winds because unlike on Earth where winds are held down by gravity, solar winds can escape. All things Enrique Mejia, who traveled from Florida to see the eclipse, didn't know. Can you kind of walk me through what you learned again? The importance of this test and how they're going to help us to save money and be safer, actually. Um, how the uh, sun affects uh, electricity. One family traveled all the way from Idaho for the once in a lifetime event. They tell me NASA being here makes it even better. It's been cool to listen to the guys at NASA and like, oh, Corona, they know that word and they know some of these things and like, like solar flares they're talking about and it's familiar to them. Are you excited to see the eclipse? Yeah. Did you bring your glasses though? No. I have the glasses. <laughs> we had them shipped here so I wouldn't forget them. NASA scientists tell me they're conducting a similar experiment up on the International Space Station in September, where they're recreating their own eclipse. In Lampasas, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Adam Schindler.